Hello there, my fellow Pina Legion scumbags, and welcome to another episode of Imperial Guard lore, focused on the Penal Battalions. However, this episode is not gonna be dedicated to just any Penal unit, but the infamous 13th Penal Legion, aka the Last Chances. I know I promised to cover these guys ever since I did that Penal Legion video, and then again when I talked about the Savlar Chemdogs, so here it is, finally. I do hope you had the patience. I am your host, the penal narrator for today, and without further ado, let us learn more about the story of these fellows, shall we? Most Imperial Guard penal legions are vast hordes of scum, dredged from the bottom of the Imperium, turned loose from Imperial prisons, given the cheapest possible equipment, and used as cannon fodder ahead of more valuable and accomplished units. The condemned soldiers who populate these regiments fight knowing that death is their only escape, and fight savagely to seize their last chance of redemption. However, there are other regiments which have been similarly condemned, but are too valuable to simply discard, at least not without making sure that their lives are sold at a high cost. Some regiments also carry this practice at a squad level, sending out those who have disgraced themselves in the eyes of the Emperor on critical, but nonetheless suicidal missions. Sometimes, multiple regiments sharing the same battlefield even expunge all of their undesirable elements, and form these condemned soldiers into a savage battle group capable of wreaking horrible damage upon the foe. Perhaps the most famous of such units of desperate, air tags, last chances, are Colonel Schaefer's 13th Penal Legion who also bear that very name and have proven extremely effective under the direction of their commander. Schaefer would handpick the regiment's troops from the Imperial prison's worst convicts because of some natural talent they displayed or because they possessed an uncanny instinct for survival. These dregs comprise the most vicious, ill-disciplined, and unstable group of psychopaths, conspirators, thieves, and traitors in the Imperial Guard who would otherwise be destined for the firing squad. Many of those offered a chance to fight with the last chances choose death rather than Colonel Schaefer, such as his reputation for undertaking suicide missions throughout the Imperium. Initially, Colonel Schaefer recruited thousands of criminals at one time, gathering enough troops to form an actual regiment. Those convicts would then be thrown into quite literally the worst battlefields he could find, using attrition as a mechanism to determine the most capable members of the unit, until only the most hardcore survivors remained. This was a process that usually reduced a regiment of thousands down to a few dozen convicts. Those remaining hardened killers would then be informed of the colonel's true objective, although rarely of its status as the driving force behind the regiment's existence. Those who survived this last suicidal mission would then be granted their pardon, with the caveat that they could never again commit another crime, and then be allowed to return either to civilian life or join the Imperial Guard as a regular guardsman. However, Schaefer was known to track these few lucky last chances, and keep a close eye on them. Unhinged by their many near-death experiences, almost all of them would relapse into lives of criminal behavior, and Schaefer would be right there to reabsorb them into his regiment, this time permanently. One of the most notorious of such members was Lieutenant Cage, who survived his first suicide mission, got reabsorbed into the 13th Legion after losing it and killing three senior officers, and then succeeded in surviving a second campaign, before heroically sacrificing himself to allow a third one to succeed. Following this modus operandi of Colonel Schaefer, there have been multiple 13th Penal Legions in the Imperial Guard's history, one for each chosen objective and although it is not known if all these units were commanded by Schaefer, his extreme age and status within the Inquisition suggest that the two have been linked for some time. 
Though they are often not liked or even respected by other regiments, these desperate fighters are known for their ability to get the job done. An oddity among the many penal legions serving in the Imperial Guard, the 13th Penal Legion is as much an experiment in military science as it is a military regiment. Upon accepting the offer of Schaefer, every new recruit is taken to a private, secret penal colony administered by Schaefer himself, for the sole purpose of raising his 13th penal legion. Once there, the recruits spend months training for every kind of mission in every kind of environment imaginable. If the recruit survives with body and wits intact, he is assigned to one of the many small clandestine units organized under the 13th Penal Legion's aegis. These units are then deployed across the galaxy to fight a shadowy war rarely seen by the average Imperial Guardsman. Colonel Schaefer has worked hard to own the surviving last chances into a deadly spear with which he can stab at the hearts of the enemies of humanity unopposed, when and where they least expect it. Another thing that sets these last chances and other similar units apart from their penal legion counterparts is the special training regimen that they are put through to fulfill their clandestine missions. Some of these groups are subjected to a grueling, months-long training regimen to enhance their natural skill and talents for which they were chosen in the first place. If the missions call for it, the recruits might also receive training in close combat techniques, sabotage, infiltration, different insertion and extraction methods like grab shoots and underwater infiltration, and survival in all manner of hostile places. Those who receive the training, and safety is not a priority given the condemned status of these dishonored soldiers, gain the skills needed to become the most vicious and lethal warriors in the Imperial Guard. Condemned battle groups of colorful and desperate characters have been used to great effect on the spinward front of the Calixis sector. Many commanders do find them valuable for fighting the Severan Dominant who are more vulnerable to their terror tactics than the Orcs or the Dark Eldar. Others prefer to send them against Xenos, thinking it best to kill such creatures with monsters of their own. One such instance of a group of disgraced soldiers winning back their honor involved a squad of Brontean long knives, condemned for suffering the disgrace of scars on their backs. As penance, the squad was sent across the ash waste of Hervara to assassinate a Severan dominant ducal legate, a suicide mission by all accounts. Within hours, they fast marched across the volcanic wastes, destroyed the legate's camp by diverting a lava flow, slaughtered their foes in an ambush, and then returned to their regiment with the legate's head. All members of the squad perished in battle or from exposure after returning. A monument made of hundreds of knives to the so-called Heart Rippers still stands in the Hervaran ash wastes south of Koban. Unlike the majority of penal legions, men and women belonging to groups like Colonel Schaefer's 13th Penal Legion and other similar organizations are remarkably well equipped for such groups of incorrigible criminals. Given that such units are frequently used by their commanders to carry out deadly covert strikes, assassinations, and other underhanded tactics that more conventional regiments would ever attempt, the weapons they often carry pack an incredible punch in a small package, and are well suited to their stealthy and clandestine assignment. Even their standard weapons, such as the run-of-the-mill las guns they are issued, are heavily modified. For protection on certain kinds of missions that demand that they pay their debt to the Emperor before perishing in his name, they are even assigned light armor, which still allows them the freedom of movement to execute their savage stealth raids upon enemy positions. Some notable Last Chancer characters include Animal Animal is a schizophrenic psychopath but reputed to be one of the best all-round warriors in the Imperial Guard. Much of his military record, as well as his crimes, are highly classified. Brains An expert on many forms of technology and an all-round brain box. 
His crime was hacking into his former unit's regimental accounting system and changing his own pay code. Demolition Man Demolition Man is an expert with explosives and is also capable of picking any lock and disabling any security system. His crime was being caught while breaking into a colonel's personal drinks cabinet. Fingers Fingers is an expert forager and petty thief who can get hold of pretty much anything for a price. His crime was black marketeering. Grease Monkey Grease Monkey is an expert mechanic reputed to be able to maintain, drive and repair any Imperial vehicle in the galaxy. His crime was stealing an Eldar Grav vehicle belonging to an ambassador of Ayandan Craftworld. Hero Hero was a formerly outstanding Imperial Guard officer. He was at the top of his class and possessed a first-class service record. His real name is known to be Green. His crime was refusing a direct order to lead his men into a pointless and suicidal attack. Hero doesn't know when to give up, sustaining the most horrible of wounds and by sheer force of will managing to survive. Stripped of his rank as an officer, Hero was sent on a penal colony at Bassus Prime and recruited into the Last Chancers by Colonel Schaefer. Ox Ox is a huge ox of a man and about as bright. His crime was killing three off-duty officers with his bare hands in a drunken brawl. Rocket Girl Rocket Girl is a master at arms who is proficient with any and all the heavy weapons employed by the Imperial Guard. Her real name is known to be Michaels. Her crime was murdering a fellow Master Sergeant for an unknown reason. Scope Scope is a trained sniper and expert marksman. His crime was going AWOL for reasons unknown, but is suspected to be related to the assassination of Chief Arbitrator Abraxtes. Shiv Shiv is a stealthy assassin who can sneak up and dispatch a sentry without being spotted. His crime was the serial murder of 20 Imperial citizens on Lecter Prime over a five-year period. Warrior Woman she is one of the renowned warrior women on Xenon 7, an expert tracker and a huntswoman. Her crime was having membership in a banned religious organization, a subcult on Artemis. Lastly, before I go, I would like to recommend some reading material if you found the concept of these last chancers interesting. There is in fact a trilogy of novels, titled collectively Last Chancers, written by Gav Thorpe. At this point they are really old novels, by 40k standards, and if you actually want to read about Colonel Schaefer and his merry band of criminals, I do heartily recommend them. They are, in order, The Thirteenth Legion, Kill Team, and Annihilation Squad. Do prepare yourself though, as they are even grimmer and more brutal than your typical 40k novel. All three of them are written, like I said, by Gav Forb. And this, my friends, has been what I wanted to tell you about the last chances for today. What are your thoughts on these almost redeemable criminals? Would you take such a deal if you're in their place? Let us know and discuss in the comments below. Was this video informative or entertaining? In that case, please click the like button and subscribe for more content. And if you'd like to help me keep this channel alive, please go visit my Patreon page, the link for which is in the video description. Thank you very much for watching and I wish you all an awesome day. The Emperor Protects.